What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another 1.4 scale model aircraft review. Today I'll be reviewing the Hainan Airlines Boeing 787-9 by Phoenix Models. Uh, this aircraft is in the gold Kung Fu Panda livery. And I got this model around 2-3 to three weeks ago from Grayland Station, which is a hobby shop in Chicago, Illinois. Um, so let's get started with the box. As you can see, um, we have Boeing 787-9 at the top. And then this being the special livery, you know, in the Kung Fu Panda livery you have some you know, characters from the Kung Fu Panda third movie. Of course, we have Poe the Panda here, and I forgot, I don't know, I forgot this guy's name, I don't know that one, but yeah, then we have the Hainan Airlines logo there. We have the registration of the aircraft, which is B-1343 or Bravo-1343, one foreign scale, and there is no writing of the Platinum series. As you can see, nothing, it doesn't say Platinum series like it does on um, most Phoenix boxes, um, so that's a bit weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the bottom of the box. Nothing really special, just a barcode and warning. Here's the computer generated image on the on the flaps of the box, you can see. And this aircraft was fifty bucks. Um pretty expensive, but since it's a newer release, I guess they're more expensive. And here's the left flap. Um and then the back of the box, Boeing 77 9 again. It doesn't say limited edition like it does on uh most Phoenix boxes. And then we have of course like a you know, view of the village in the Kung Fu Panda 3. Uh, with all the pandas in it, so yeah. And then we have one for the scale B-1343. So yeah, pretty you know, you know, I don't know, straightforward box. Nothing really special about. I mean, special livery, but um, yeah. And uh, I'm not sure what month this model was released in. I think it was either April or May, but it's a more recent model. JC Wings, if I'm not wrong, has they haven't released their version of this model yet. I was actually gonna get the JC Wings version. Um, instead of this, but since Phoenix released theirs earlier, went ahead and bought it. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and bring in the model. Alright, so let's get started with the nose section of the plane. So let me just go ahead and zoom in here and show you guys. So as you can see, we've got the cockpit windows here. The nose cone with some nice, the radome is nicely outlined there, the nose cone. Uh, we have the static ports, speedo tubes there, and then HNA, which I, th I think that's the name of the group that Hainan Airlines is part of. Um, Hainan, I, I guess it's Hainan Group, I'm not exactly sure what HNA stands for, but if anybody knows, let me know uh, in the comments below. I know Hainan Airlines, they have a stake in Hong Kong Airlines, and I think Capital Airlines as well. Uh, there's a lot of uh, smaller Asian airlines that Hainan has a stake, or you know, they own part of, if you might know. Because Hong Kong Airlines and Capital Airlines, they have like basically the same livery as Hainan, so that's how you know. And then the Yangtze River Express or Suparna Airlines, that's a cargo airline. Um, they're also part of the HNA group. Um, don't know why I zoomed out, but let's zoom back in. Then you can see the nose gear, landing gear uh, do roll on this plane. We have 1343, which is I guess the fleet number of the plane. Um, of course the registration is B-1343. Um, and then the ETOPS writing there. Um, ETOPS certified aircraft. Uh, then we have the L1 and L2 doors there. I don't know why they're outlined, but it, I mean, it looks pretty nice though. We have the Hainan Airlines logo right there, and then Hainan, I think that says Hainan in Chinese. I'm not exactly sure if anybody knows what it says, let me know. And then over here we have Hainan Airlines written in English. Um, and then you might be able to see that little, some writing down there that actually says, uh, hold on. Kung Fu Panda, so yeah, it says Kung Fu Panda DreamWorks Animation LLC, all rights reserved. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then Hainan actually has four Kung Fu Panda livery planes in their fleet. They have this is this is the newest one, the gold livery one. That's the newest one. They have also a red one, a white one, and a yellow one. So they've got four in total, which is really really cool. Um, and I haven't seen any of them sadly. So um, yeah, then of course we have Poe the panda kind of like flying or something, I don't know, but, you know, have them there. Got an antenna up here, the dish, satcom thing. Uh, I'll go more in detail into the top later on. Moving on to the wings, we've got the landing lights here, the GENX engines with the writing of DreamWorks Kung Fu Panda on them. And then in the inside, we have, I mean, the, engine, the fan blades actually spin, if you didn't know. Um, just like on my Cut 3350, they fan blade spin which is really really nice let me actually show you guys um most okay, i guess all the newer F phoenix jc wings a350s and 787s i guess they have spinning fan blades now so as you can see 
they spin, which is really nice. And there's the other one, let me show you. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, I, I've tried blowing into them, but it doesn't work that way. I guess you just have to put something into the engines to get them to spin, but, you know, blowing into them doesn't really, you know, make them spin, I guess, uh, since they're smaller. Uh, and then here's the wings. As you can see, we have the control surfaces. Pretty nicely done, not much to say about the wings. Um, and then you have, of course, you have the nice wing tip of the 787 with the landing or navigation lights on them. Um, we have Hainan Airlines written in Chinese, I guess that's what it, I'm not exactly sure what it says. And then on the top of the right wing, we have the registration. Uh, and then over again, we have a another exit door here and then the aft door back there with the registration B-1343. And we have the Hainan Airlines tail and the tail cone with the APU and like some lights, the light there and the horizontal stabilizers. And then also a little door, a car, not, yeah, a door to the cargo compartment back here. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. On, on most planes, like the 30, we see all three cargo doors are on the right side, but I guess on the 787, the smaller one is on the left side, and then the two bigger ones are on the right side. So, yeah, let's, speaking of the right side, let's go ahead and move there. Um, we have, uh, like I said, the two main cargo doors, the front main door and then the rear one are on the right side. Um, and then like I said, like I showed you guys earlier, the smaller one is on the other side, which is pretty unusual. Because on most planes, like let me show you guys the 777, let me get my model of here. Uh, there's, all three are on one side. So, yeah. Anyway. So I was out, let me fix that. So as I was showing you guys, we have Poe again on this side, kind of in a flying, I guess that's what he's doing, for the flying in this, on this aircraft. Um, so yeah, not much else to show you on the right side. Now let's show you, I'll show you the um, top of the aircraft, as you can see. We have the writing of cut here in emergency. Let me cut here in emergency, um, some antennas, static ports, um, another SATCOM, which is, a, it's 3D as well. It's not painted on, it's actually like, 3D, some more antennas back there, um, and now onto the underside, which is not really that important. Uh, we have the nose gear doors, some more landing, the landing gear again, uh, which roll, the stand hole, you can see the landing gear doors, which is nice, um, and then Hainan Airlines written in Chinese, and then the registration again. Of course, it's opposite, so this time underneath the left wing, there's the registration, underneath the right wing is the Hainan Chinese writing, and another antenna there. So, it's a really nice model. I'm not sure how the JC Wings version is, so I don't know how to compare them. But, one thing I noticed is that I think the color of this one is a bit off. Because I think on the real aircraft, the color is a bit darker. But on this one, it's a bit lighter. It doesn't, I don't think it picks it up on camera, but uh, in real life, it's actually a bit more more light, a bit more yellowish um, than it should be. Uh, I don't know if let me actually show you. on the From, from the computer-generated image, you can see there's a difference. It's supposed to be that color. Uh, in real life, it's that color. But on the model, it's like gold. I mean, it's, it's supposed to be gold, but it's like more yellowish, I guess. As you can see, there's a bit of a color error. So, um, for that, that's not entirely accurate. But, yeah, and then, as a matter of fact, on the real plane, I think they used to have some sort of Skytrax logo back here. But I think, that, I don't know why they removed it. There used to be a Skytrax logo back here, but they removed it. Um, yeah, not long after they applied it. Don't know why they did that, but yeah. So, pretty awesome model. Would definitely recommend getting it um, if you have a if you want to get a Chinese airline. Hainan is a good start. It's a beautiful livery, um, and this is definitely my favorite of the four Kung Fu Panda um, themed planes. It's this one. This is my favorite, and then the next one have to be the red one, and then the yellow one, and then the white one. So, definitely a cool livery. I would highly recommend it. At, once again. Give this model, I guess a 9 out of 10, take a point off because of the color error, but still a really good score for this one. Um, and I'm not sure if Hainan's going to be repainting these, because of course Kung Fu Panda, the most recent movie, came out like last year. So I'm not sure if they're going to be repainting this, the all four 787s, um, or keeping them until they retire in like 20, 30 years. But if anybody knows, let me know. So uh, that's it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, rate, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.